or like I got some more canned goods to add to the heat and eat or the ready to eat menu. We made spaghetti yesterday. It's just spaghetti squash. In it. The previous video about the chicken noodle with spaghetti squash, I broke the spaghetti squash down so I didn't show this cooking. I figured it'd be redundant. I've made spaghetti sauce before, I can post that. I basically browned some ground beef, made my spaghetti sauce like I do for Kenan. Put the spaghetti squash noodles in it. Instead of letting it cook very long, I just mixed it together for a few minutes and I canned it. Pressure canned it for hour and 15 minutes. They're pint jars. I made four of them. Now these five, I had, I had cooked several small spaghetti squash. And I didn't make enough spaghetti sauce to cover all them noodles. I really didn't believe it would make that many, but it was amazing how many noodles you can get out of a small spaghetti squash. So I made another concoction. It's got spaghetti squash noodles in it, but it's got beef broth and salt, pepper, garlic, onions, and peppers in it. Kind of like Raymond. Don't know exactly how good it'll be from what I tasted of it before it was put into the jars. It was pretty good. But I had to use the noodles somehow, so I came up with some. If it works out pretty good, I might make a video over making it. I really didn't keep up exactly what I put in it. I just made it taste the way I wanted it to and processed it. But we're adding to our ready to eat or heat and eat meals. A little at a time. We'll slowly get a pantry full of items we can pull when we need them. Hope you have a good week. Give us a like if you like the video. Tell somebody about us. Help us. Help our little channel to grow. God bless.